I've had this apartment over 30, 30 plus years, trying to get me out because they want my apartment because it's, the building went co-op. As many rent stabilized people they could get out of the building, that's what they're trying to do. And many of us in here are not giving in. So they're trying to get rid of the black people. Mm -hmm. When they sell these apartments, who you think is coming in? What are we supposed to do? Max Properties gave me 10 days to get rid of my animals or vacate the premises. They took me to court and the court allowed me to keep three of my dogs. They were told that I have a fourth dog. My second job is pet sitting. That's an income for me. And they want to take that away from me. You got people taking pictures of my dogs. Mr. Boyd has to be the one who come and tell people, hey, if you see her with more than three dogs, let me know. Basically telling my neighbors to harass me because why would you constantly take pictures of me? I have asked all these other people, mostly white people who have dogs, if Max Properties have come after them regarding their dogs. They said no, they want my apartment. Yeah. And not just me, you know, I found out from other tenants in this building who are rent stabilized and they don't want to fix anything in their apartment. They don't want to spend the money to say fix a rent stabilized tenant's apartment, fix the darn place. But somehow she found money to renovate the lobby okay. and the garage. Why can't that money that they have fix people's apartment? I have a lot of problems in here that needs to be fixed. I kept putting in work orders and letters telling them these are things that need to be fixed in my apartment. So they did not do the work and the work is still not done. The leak was so bad it was flowing like a river. They fixed the pipe, yeah. All that water that soaked into the wall where bubbles were coming through the bathroom. The sink, the kitchen sink was literally falling off the wall. It's I showed him all the mold that's below. Mm -hmm. One day I go to eat dinner. I pulled out a plate from inside the cupboard and on the plate there was this black thing. And I'm wondering, what the heck is that? There was mold sitting on my plate, mold. As I took out everything from the kitchen cupboard, the mold was all in the back. The mold is under the sink. He does not want to replace the cabinet. Although I had hired a contractor to check how much mold was back there, the contractor said that these cupboards need to be removed because the mold that's back there behind the, the cupboards is inside the wall. I am asthmatic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I cannot even sleep mm -hmm. because of all the mold in here. I almost died twice in this apartment because of mold in this apartment. Mm -hmm. They don't get it. This is my health. I'm not going to put up with any crap from these people anymore. That Mr. Boyd said, oh, I don't see a problem. Oh, he was yelling at me. This time? No. This employee had made sexual remarks to me before and I chose to ignore him. This man came to me and said the nastiest, grossest thing to me. And nobody should be talking to any woman like that. They chose to ignore the whole thing, and he's still working here. If I was white, forget it. He would have been fired. Yeah, some guy came to my home and said he was doing a welfare check on me. But anybody else keep coming after me, I'm gonna fight. I'm not a stupid woman. I'm gonna fight for my rights.